Hey, where'd you go? She's in the camera. Out of there. Exit stage right. I'm back. This is the type of people you want to show it to, though. Oh. Like these people are cool. They're gonna want to actually see that you're actually drinking and a real oh. person. Sorry. There you are. What are you drinking? I'm drinking Tapo Chico hard seltzer. What are you, a girl? No. <laughs> it's only got a hundred calories. <laughs> All right. Hey, gang. Sean and Don here, and I know what you're thinking. Don. Wait I'm a second. I'm a different Don. Different Don. This is my brother-in-law, Don. Don, also known as, we call him Don, not Donald, but Donald lives right next door to us. And um, and my mom, let me just give you this warning right now. My mom lives over here. We take care of her. She's got dementia. So if during the course of this entire video, you see this random little white haired lady come out and just stand there and look, that's my mom. <laughs> just go with it. So today, Don and I are gonna go through the off-grid trailer switchback. Um, so the reason we bought this trailer um, as a reminder is for our family. Um, so Donald and his wife, Brenda, my sister-in-law, they're in the market for an Echo, um, Winnebago Echo, to kind of accompany us. But if you've been familiar with the Echoes, I think they're what, 18 month lead About time? 18 months. 18 month lead time. Um, Don is going with us down to Pacific Northwest Overland Expo and his wife, Brenda, um, next month in uh, July down in Bend, Oregon. And we're going to be taking the switchback for the first time. And they're going to be sleeping in the switchback as we're sleeping in the van. And that's what the switchback is for. The switchback is for us to take with us for family to come along. We have five adult kids. Um, they can come along. We have our Tacoma. When they have their Echo, they can use that. And we just have like a full kit that we can use. First time setting this up. So we haven't set it up yet. Don, any familiar, have you ever done a rooftop tent? I do, I've helped you with the one on your taco, and that's about it. So on my taco, I have a clamshell. This is a bag style tent. And I've, I, I've seen these go up. I've never set one up myself. So we're gonna go quickly do a little overview of each area on this trailer um, with Don. And then we're gonna set up the tent and the 270 awning with it. We're not going to put out the annex right now. So we do have the 270 awning annex and we do have the tent annex too, which gives it a lot more space. So let's see how we do here. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. All right. Four. All right, first step here, Don, we need you to lower these stabilizer jacks here. So these are aftermarket. There, one. Cool, we're all set to go now. All right, since Don and Brenda are gonna be using this first, we're gonna go through all the cabinets here first. So Don, why don't you start with this first cabinet. So this first cabinet's basically some storage, some bags. You can see our, our, our annex is over there and our batteries are right down here. Don, let's open up the second one. So little pro tip, you're gonna be able to see it go way back there on the other side. So there is a pass through um, to the opposite side, which we'll show you how, when we get over there, how that all works. But this is our annex. Bottom line, there's just a ton of storage in here. And if you check up in here, we have exterior lights and interior lights, all kind of power in there. We'll get to that in a second. All right. Behind this one, now, if you were normally setting this up, you are gonna wanna take this cap off right here and you'll understand why in a second when Donald opens this up. So go ahead and pop that down, Don. Now, first off, how does that feel stability-wise? The uh, shocks actually help slow it. Slow it down? Know, a lower, okay. slow low. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop open this. So we got a full Dometic cooktop here, a propane cooktop that's uh, standard in this build. Go ahead and pop this open. And so this is really cool here. So this is the water system, and as we go down here, that drain, cap that I told Don we normally take off, that's what happens here. The gray water goes down in this. Now you can see that this is wet. I've already de-winterized de it and then cleaned it out. So I've already gone through that test uh, right now. But it's a really clean setup as we go. Let's go ahead and cap it up. And now the reason that we really want Donald going through this is that when we get to Overland Expo, he's gonna be the one fully responsible for setting it up. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna get Brenda to help, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> she'll, she'll be over there uh, with a spritzer. <laughs> All right, so the back here. So we opted for the barbecue 
So all of this ties into the barbecue system, little Weber grill, comes in and out. You have our inverter plug here, and then you can see water pump, exterior lights, interior lights. That's the, that's the theme throughout this entire build is that you'll see access to all kinds of power options in ev almost every cabinet. Little drop down prep table over there. And then just a, lots of storage. They thought about storage everywhere. So you can kind of see there's a shelf there just to add whatever you want. All right, moving on. What's behind this one? Is that uh, a trick question? I know what's behind there. Okay. Yeah. It's not going to jump out again. It's not going to jump out. Boom. That is our Dometic 55 liter uh, fridge, dual zone fridge. We had, I, I have to reverse the doors on it still just because the power's on this side. But this is where all your refrigeration is. So you're set to go on that side. Also another pop down table. Still more storage. What they claim on this side here, this perforated, is if you have any wet clothes, this is kind of where you would stuck it, fishing gear, whatever it might be that needs to drain, it'll drain through here. There's a hole in the bottom that uh, will drain straight out. I think it's, it's really cool the way to do it. All right, let's cap that all off. Yeah, uh, this thing is really nice. I'm excited to share it with the family and stuff. All right, moving on over here. So. Before we go into that one, this is a shower annex on a swing out. So it could either drop straight down or it could swing all the way out that way. And if it swings out, you would use it more for a bathroom annex than a shower, obviously, based off what you're going to see here. We're not going to open that right now. Um, I've already opened it up. It works. All right, let's go with this one. So here, your hot and cold uh, water shower. Um, it's actually really great pressure. I believe it's like a 20 to 25 gallon tank in there. Um, so plenty of water for a long weekend or even like, you know, five to 10, actually probably five days, um, depending on how big your group is before you'd have to refill there. All right, so we're just coming back to those other cabinets on the opposite side. So from here, you can kind of see there's the power inverter system, fire extinguisher, the batteries, the annex, and then you have these cleats to lock down any other storage you want, more lights and everything up here. So as you can see, it basically has everything you want for living, a spare tire, propane tank, and then that last pass through to your power system right now, which I, I think I still have on. And then up here, more storage. You could put store other items up here. A lot of people uh, recommend uh, storing wood up in this spot here. Um, but the bottom line is you have a lot that you can do with this. What do you think, Con? I'm, uh, I'm liking it. You're liking it. I got some wood to store up there. <laughs> That's what she said. All right. Well, you always left me satisfied and smiling, so. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, the other thing, this is where you plug it in, power here, solar there, fairly simple, fairly standard. Now, next up, we're gonna try to do this tent and we're gonna see how we do here. I have a little bit of YouTube experience with this tent. I've got practical experience pitching tents. <laughs> practical, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So what we have is we have the bag off here. Now, normally, there's a rain gutter in there and you would just slide the entire bag out and store that away. Um, we don't want to do that right now just because we're setting it down or taking it down and up. We're not actually using it, but normally you would just slide that out of its channel and then you'd be good to go. Okay. Cool. That's their home away from home. That's where they go. All right, gang, so here's where we're at. We got the tent up, we got the poles in. We don't have all the windows up. First impression, Don, it, it's cool to set up. Um, it's big. It's, uh, it's tight around the corners there to get the, the rain fly uh, stakes in, but I think that's just a little bit of practice for us. You gotta do some climbing. Got some climbing. With the switchback, I think in this type of setup, you would almost need, unless you're doing the clamshell style, you would almost need a, a ladder that you're going to bring on the opposite side because you have to reach over the awning 
So I brought a little ladder out um, so I can gain access there. But now we're gonna get some light on the inside. We're gonna open it up. We'll take a little video inside and then we'll get that 270 awning out. And we'll see how it all comes together. So here's what we got done first. And once again, we did not read instructions at all. We believe this is like the little annex living room that we have ropes that we can actually protect from wind um, and it folds in. We haven't gone inside the tent yet. We're gonna try that here in a second and try to get it all set up internally and we'll see how we do. We're gonna try to do justice here. So Don, we are up in this annex right now. It's actually really roomy. Yeah. Ton is. of space. Don, how tall are you? Six. Six? Foot. I'm six foot one. And so if we lay down, sorry Don, weird you out here. You're like, I thought we we're just oh. filming a video, not laying in bed yeah. together. So easily like in this setup i feel like we could have a small kid you guys could have a little dog in here but i mean it's expansive so much room for activity so much room for activities good what did we just become best friends yep you want to go do karate in the garage yep headroom in here so i think it's actually really nice for how it is what do you think, Don? I'm pretty impressed with this. Pretty a lot bigger than I expected. That's what she said. She did. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you, you <laughs> ran right into it. All right, what do you think about the awning? You wanna try it? Yeah, let's give it a shot. The 270 awning has it way with us. We have to actually Google how to get those legs in there. It's different than any one I've seen, so bear with us. Is there instructions? There's this. Oh, but it's okay. kind of there we have it, actually. So it took us a little bit. It's just starting to rain. Of course, we got this thing out. You know, we're just testing it out. Now it's going to rain, so we have to put it away dry. Thank you, Pacific Northwest. It's been one hell of a freaking spring and summer so far in 2022. Thoughts? What are your thoughts, Don? Actually, you know, once we get all the equipment, we had to dig around in the trailer for it because they didn't have everything right together for it. Um, real easy. Real easy. Really simple. So I think this is going to be a game changer setup for the family for sure. It gives us a lot of uh, uh, options to use here. Um, if you like this type of stuff, first off, we typically make adventure video type things, some more cinematic stuff out in the van, just traveling around the Pacific Northwest. But we also do occasional reviews. Our goal is to get our family outside and just be an authentic family as possible out there enjoying our, our outdoor uh, wilderness. If you like this stuff, consider liking, subscribing uh, to our channel. Um, I do post week uh, videos every week. We're gonna try to put this all away quickly before the rain really sets in. Thanks up. And um, we'll There's go from there. There's some blue sky though. There's some blue sky. All right, thanks guys. All right, gang, so we got that put away. But I want to give you a little tip here. Um, so I'm going to insert this somewhere in the video. Um, so this is wherever I insert this portion, realize we're not done yet. The, the... All right, guys. So I learned a valuable lesson putting this thing away. Um, I about took my fingertip off. And let me explain what happened because I think it's easy to happen to someone else. And it's 100% my fault. It really is. So on this jack here, there's a handle, this jack, this handle here, there's a pin here as well. And I just assume that this handle, I can help use it to pull. Well, what this does is it releases the jack arm itself and lets it rotate this direction. Didn't even think about that. And so as I was pulling on this, if my brother-in-law pushing, this whole jack slid under and I damn near, I mean, it scissored, I damn near, uh, took off my fingertip and it would have really sucked um, So don't do that. Anyways, watch the rest of the video. 